The nursing goals on post-op day one are ensure that the patient has recovered from the anesthesia, is awake, and using the incentive spirometer. Confirm that the patient's heart rate and blood pressure are stable. Administer pain control prior to chest tube removal and other procedures. Assist with the removal of chest tubes, invasive monitoring, and IV lines. Remove the Foley catheter. Get the patient up, dressed, and bathed. Change the wound dressings. And transfer the patient to a monitored progressive care unit. If the patient is hemodynamically stable and no fresh bleeding is noted in the wound drainage, the chest tubes are removed. The nurse should assist the surgeon with chest tube removal and remove invasive monitoring and IV lines. Typically, the use of a Foley catheter may be discontinued. If the saphenous vein has been used, this wound is usually the most difficult to manage and causes the most discomfort. With the removal of the main venous return mechanism from that leg, edema forms, and the wound edges sometimes split from the pressure. Support hose helps prevent some edema and helps healing of the surgical site. Typically by now the patient is awake, extubated, that is, the endotracheal tube is out, and is using the incentive spirometer. At this point the patient can be bathed and his or her dressings changed with less bulky dressings applied. It is important to get the patient up and moving around as soon as possible after surgery. Typically the patient can be assisted to a bedside chair, for example. The goal is to use the spirometer 10 times an hour. Requiring the patients to keep their spirometers in the bed or chair with them, for example, instead of on the nightstand, and use them every time a commercial comes on the TV can improve compliance. At this point, the patient should also require less oxygen support. Pulse oximetry can be used to monitor and decrease the patient's oxygen support. Supporting the chest wall with a small pillow or folded bath blanket can help ease the pain with deep breathing. Some hospitals give the patient a heart pillow. And finally, if the patient's recovery is proceeding according to schedule, the patient can be transferred from intensive care to a monitored progressive care unit or telemetry. At this point, while his or her heart is continuously monitored, the patient is ready to begin progressive exercise with the cardiac rehabilitation team.